The good news about the .NET MAUI delay is that you'll get more videos like this, updates on .NET MAUI, Preview 9 in this case, so come check it out. Now, before I'm going to show you all this goodness in Visual Studio and .NET MAUI in code, let's just go over this blog post really quickly, announcing .NET MAUI Preview 9. Um, so Preview 9 is available today with .NET RC2 and the preview channel of Visual Studio 2022 Preview 5. So here you can see that the version numbers are going to kind of diverge because, um, of course, .NET MAUI, we wanted to have that RC2 now as well. Um, but if you've watched the previous video, um, .NET MAUI is going to be delayed for a little bit. So we are going to have an RC in Q1 of 2022 and Q2 of 2022. Um, .NET MAUI will be released as generally available. So then it's actually ready, stable, and um, for you to use in production apps. So that's kind of like where we have the divergence of the different um, version numbers right now. But in the meantime, uh, until Q1 and Q2, there will be preview versions. So um, that means the good news is that you will be getting um, more of these videos um, as we progress towards there. Um, so that's kind of like what I said here, roadmap news, um, um, release candidate, first quarter 2022, RC of .NET MAUI and general availability in the second quarter of 2022. The exact date is going to be seen. Um, now, the updated controls, so we got a couple of new controls in .NET MAUI, box view, indicator view, image button, web view, because a large part of the work that's being done on .NET MAUI today is um, getting up to par with Xamarin Forms, implementing all the controls as they were in Xamarin Forms, uh, work exactly the same in .NET MAUI, but now with the new handler architecture so that it will be um, better performance, hopefully uh, a little less bugs and more extensible for um, other things that are to come. Now, the main event of this preview nine is borders, corners and shadows, which is going to be really cool because um, like I said, the main work is going into getting up to par with Xamarin Forms. So not really implementing anything new, but just uh, matching the functionality between Xamarin Forms and .NET MAUI so that the transition from your Xamarin Forms application will be seamless to a .NET MAUI app. And from there, we can implement all these shiny new things um, and improvements and, and whatnot. Um, but this is a thing that has been added um, um, as a uh, well minor improvement. I think it's a big improvement. This will um, hopefully obsolete a couple of the third party libraries that you've got installed for this now. And this uses the Microsoft.maui.graphics library, more on that later. Um, which provides a consistent UI drawing API based on the native graphics engine. So Microsoft.maui.graphics is a unified API with c -sharp .net, um, that allows you to leverage the native graphics engines from iOS, Android, UWP, Mac Catalyst um, to draw all this kind of good stuff. Um, and now what's added is the ability to do these borders and quarters and um, actually some shadows to create these kinds of, well, is this awesome? I don't know, David, I love your design skills, but maybe um, it, it could be improved still a little bit. Um, but this is how you can um, create all these controls. And this is a label that you can see here. You can see all the code here. Uh, we're going to implement that in a minute. You just wrap it inside of this border element and you can do all this crazy design stuff. Um, and what you're probably really going to like is that if you know how to do this on WPF, UWP, Silverlight, and the latest Windows app SDK, you know how to do it in .NET MAUI because the APIs match exactly at least the usage here. So that is really nice. Now I'm going to skip over this real quickly because I'm going to show you this in a little bit in Visual Studio. Um, there's a lot of properties that you can use. The API is really extensive already. Um, there is some um, uh, a little note here in the future version. We'll investigate adding a markup helper for setting the stroke shape directly rather than instantiating a shape. Um, because if you see now here, we have to do this border stroke shape with the round rectangle, uh, which is kind of verbose. So they're investigating um, to see how we can make that easier for you to use. Now, the other thing is shadow. So you can see this .NET bot has a little shadow. And you can just apply that with a attached property, image.shadow. You put in a shadow object, you set a couple of properties, and boom, you have a shadow. Now, this is on an image, also works on labels, buttons, any visual element that you can think of in .NET MAUI. I'll show you that in a little bit. Now, um, I think also very important for a lot of people is the Android startup time. So with the ahead of time compilation, makes a big difference on how you can um, speed up the startup of your um, Android app, uh, which has been a pain point for a lot of people. And we're really focusing on that. Um, so you can see here some numbers, you can read them for yourself. Um, 
an Android app is still ahead of us. Um, that's probably going to stay that way because we add a little bit of overhead. That's not going to change, but we are trying to reduce that to the lowest point possible. So you can see we're already down to um, under one and a half seconds. Um, and if you look at the little note down here, Jonathan Peppers, you probably know him if you've been big in the Android development, um, then he found an additional 400 millisecond improvement, um, which is, I think, not yet calculated in these numbers. So that would mean uh, it brings this down to one second. And I think our target is to get it below one second's um, startup time. So that would be really amazing. Um, check out all the numbers here and um, leave some feedback, ideas, and whatever on the .NET Maui repository repository if you have any. Now, um, other controls, ecosystem controls, Def Expressing, Fusion, Telerik, our wonderful partners are doing great stuff as well. Um, also, again, based on top of the Microsoft.Maui.Graphics, but also based on .NET Maui, I think most of them have now preview controls out there that you can check out. So be sure to do that. Um, and let them know um, about the feedback so they, they can launch together with .NET MAUI in Q2 of 2022, and you can use your favorite controls from them as well together with all the good stuff that we are putting out there. Um, now, get started today, of course. You can download, install Visual Studio 2022 Preview 5 right now. Don't forget to check the .NET MAUI preview check under the mobile development with .NET workload. There's a little check on the right side. Check that to get all the .NET MAUI goodness. Um, do not forget to install this MSIX extension for Visual Studio 2022. And whenever you got that ready, you will see the templates pop up in your Visual Studio. I got other videos, uh, previous videos and other updates showing you all of this as well. So go check that out if you didn't see that already um, or let me know down in the comments if there is videos that you're missing or have any other questions and I'll be sure to um, provide you with an answer there. Now, of course, feedback is well, welcome. We're um, very much into developing this right now. So if you find anything, um, if you want to add something, better do it now than um, whenever it's stable. So add your feedback right now so we can take that up. And um, then your stable, your general availability um, experience will be the best there is. So let's just go over to Visual Studio and show you all of this uh, live in action. So here we are in Visual Studio 2022. Um, you can see I already created a file new .NET MAUI application. This is the out of the box template that you'll see whenever you create a new app. Um, I already also got it running on Android and you can see this XAML live preview here on the right, which is also new um, in Visual Studio 2022, which kind of like basically mirrors your screen of the emulator um, so that you don't have to switch around between windows. So that is like, um, and you can also, it's a little bit handy and you can also add rulers to this so you can really create that pixel perfect um, um, experience that you're, that you're after. And you can see whenever we update something here, you can see it also updates on the XAML live preview. So that is really cool. Um, now for this top label, let's just add a little border thing right here. So let's see, let's do a border and um, I'm going to take this grid.row and take it from the label um, and put it here in our border. There we go. And um, also let's give it a little padding. So let's make this um, 68 so that it shows up a little bit nicely. Um, the stroke, so let's just make this a random color, red, um, because red is always something that you will show nicely. The background, so you can also give it a background because because um, inside of the stroke, uh, inside of the border, um, you can also have it a fill color, which is a background. Um, so let's just make this, um, I don't know, .NET purple, something like that. Um, the stroke thickness. So you can see as I'm typing stroke here, there's a dash array, a dash offset, a line cap. I'm no designer, so I don't know what half of this stuff even means, um, but hopefully you do. Um, I just know the stroke thickness. Um, so that is like how thick the, the border is going to be. Let's make that four so that we can show it up nicely. And um, let's set the horizontal options to center um, so that it's nicely centered on our screen. Now, um, it, it closes the tag automatically, but I want this label to be in here. So let's do that. Um, there's one thing we still need to do, and that's the note that um, from the blog post that we mentioned earlier, um, that we have to do the border dot um, stroke shape. That's the one. Um, and here we have to create a new instance of an object and say round rectangle. Um, and we can here set the corner radius. And this has kind of like a shortcut notation. So you can say um, this is probably going to be top left. So 40, um, comma, 0, 0, 40. So this is for each corner. You can specify a value and um, close it. And now whenever we save it, we should see it show up in our emulator, but we don't. Um, I hope this is just a little hiccup in the emulator, um, not 
showing up uh, while running in our XAML hard reload. Um, so I will restart it in a little bit um, to see if that is actually the case. Um, now for the other one, let's check out the shadow. So let's go to the image um, and we can add a shadow here as an attached property. So um, I'm going to make this a slash image. And now I can say image dot shadow. You can see the IntelliSense already knows about it. And we can set the shadow here and we can set a brush, uh, which is going to be, let's make that black. Um, we can set the, what is it, the radius. So let's make this um, 40, something like that. I think we can specify the offset. So that's like the, the top and the right or the left, I don't know, um, for where the shadow should show up. So let's make this 2020. Um, and we can set the opacity. So you can set how transparent it should be. So let's set this to 80%. Um, and whenever I do that, and whenever I save it, you can see that on the image, it automatically applies. So let's see it a little bit bigger here on the emulator as well. Um, so that is really nice. And I can also um, set this brush to some kind of named color. So let's make this also .NET purple and save it again. And you can see that it shows up purplish, reddish. I don't know what it is exactly, but you can see that this brush is applied and it now has a nice shadow. But you can also do this on any other control. So let's take this piece and go to the button that's above it and Let's not make this a self-closing button, but do it like this, paste it in here. And now I need to make this a button.shadow and save that. And you can see that the button also gets a nice shadow. So you can see that this um, works really nicely. Now let's stop and restart the application and hope that the other shape from the blog will show up as well. The shape here at the top um, with our little border thingy inside of our um, label, well, our label inside of our border, there we have it. Um, you can see that this hello world with the, the red border um, and the, the purple background. So um, you can see that that works too. There is a little hiccup here with the XAML hot reload. You can see that, but um, it definitely shows up nicely here and it all works as advertised. Now, I also did this on UWP. Um, you can see I didn't do it all. I didn't do the shadow. So don't be uh, scared that this doesn't work on UWP. Um, I just did the little border thingy here. Um, you can see that it's purple, red, um, again, with the, the same borders right here. So this also works on UWP. Um, I also tried it on iOS because you can use a remote simulator now on Visual Studio. Um, I don't know when that started working, but I noticed that it's working now. Um, so this is kind of like a quick overview of the new possibilities of Preview 9. So besides just the regular work of implementing more controls, porting more controls to the handler architecture, um, there's a lot going on here. There is improvements in the Android startup time, which is going to make a lot of people happy. And also, I think this will make a lot of people happy as well, is the borders and the, the, the shadows and the corners and those kinds of things that will be applicable to all visual elements. So go out, have a play. Um, let me know your crazy designs that you're coming up with with all of this stuff. And this is all backed by Microsoft.Maui.Graphics, which is a really really cool new API that you can use to leverage the um, native platform drawing library. So that's nice. There is also something in the works um, where you can have fully drawn controls for .NET MAUI, which is called Microsoft.Graphics. No, Microsoft.MAUI.Graphics.Controls, um, which basically kind of follows the same pattern as Flutter. Do I dare to say it? Flutter, um, where you can have fully drawn controls, pixel perfect, one on one on each platform. If that's something that you want to know more about, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video about that as well. For the rest, thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Please click that like button if you've actually liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so you'll be notified of new content automatically and you don't have to go out and search for it. I'll be right there and I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.